welcome to my english class today i am going to explain poem 1 from your english literature book behind that is the road not taken written by robert lee frost in this first part of the video i am going to give you a brief introduction about the poet and shall discuss about the theme and the summary of the poem Robert Frost was born in 1874 in San Francisco, California, but spent most of his time in New England, a rural area in the northeast of the United States. The area is characterized by hills, woods, farms and small towns. Frost himself worked for many years as a farmer in addition to teaching English and writing poems. His poem reflects the sights and sounds of where he lived, the fields, farms and woods and scenes of everyday life. All those elements make Frost poem accessible, leading readers to understand the deeper truth behind seemingly simple ideas. He died in 1963. Now this poem is basically about making choices in life and the choices that shape our future. Now many alternatives are available at the time of choice but man has to select one. The choices may be appealing but finally we have to choose one. Decision making according to the poet plays an important role in our lives making a decision is not always easy as we do not know whether any decision taken will be beneficial to us in the long run or not yet we have to make decisions which we cannot retract from it is only the future that will reveal whether the decision taken is wrong or not after taking decision definitely we cannot change them we can only regret them even if we wish we cannot start all over again so taking the right decision and making correct choices is very crucial to an individual's life any wrong decision or choice can spoil our life so we must visualize the possible consequences of our decision and then make the decision that looks the best decision as far as possible we have to be very wise and careful while making any decision because that could be the turning point in our lives Now here is the summary of the poem. The poem starts by describing the nature of wood or forest during the autumn season. The poet connect nature to human situations in the poem. The poet while traveling on foot in the woods or forest reaches a junction where two roads diverge or they got separated. and he has to choose one between them he stands there for long then he decides to choose the road which was grassy and needed to wear he feels this choice will make all the difference to his future life now why he had chosen the grassy and weary road because he was quite an adventurous man and he didn't want to be a part of the crowd he wanted to explore new things he wanted to face challenges so he had chosen that road he feels this choice will make all the difference to his future life he decides to try the other road some other time knowing fully well that he will not get a chance to go back to it later he wishes that he had taken the other road 
This is the irony of life. We cannot travel on all the available roads, no matter howsoever we may wish to. Now the poet feels that ages from now means many years from now in the future, he would be looking at this decision with a sigh. Now sigh may indicate two different attitudes. It's a feeling. It can be a sigh of satisfaction which shows that he is looking back at his choice with satisfaction and relief that he is happy with his decision. It may also be interrupted as a sigh of regret, which means he is sorry. He made that choice and perhaps it would have been better for him if he had chosen the other path. So he would tell that since he had taken the road less travelled, it made all the difference. Thus, the poet speaks of the basic problems of making the right choice. Many alternatives are available at the time of choice, but man has to select any one. It is only the future that will reveal whether the decision is wrong or not. After taking decisions, we cannot undo them. That means we cannot change them, we cannot reverse them. We can only regret. Even if we wish, we cannot start all over again. So this is the summary of the poem, The Road Not Taken. I hope you have understood the central theme and the summary of the poem. So here is an inferential question. How is the theme of the poem applicable to our lives? Now you are going to answer this question based on the theme and the summary given in this video. Now you know that the theme is basically about the decision making. Okay. Now you are going to talk about the theme, how it is going to be applied in our lives. That means you might have also come across such dilemma or the state of confusion where you are not able to where you are not able to take the right decision. So, you are going to answer this question. How is the theme of the poem applicable to our lives? Try to write in your own words. And stay tuned for my next part of the video where I will be explaining the poem stanza wise. Thank you.